The full version of FM24 is now out. However, I'm yet to share with you my latest save in for early access. We did two saves. Obviously, our first one was Bayern Munich, where we won for treble. And this one, oh, who did we go to? It's a team in trouble in real life, and their manager will most likely get sacked soon. So we went to Manchester United. You know what, a huge club, but in real life, they are not doing that well. So I thought to myself, what can I do? They've got a fantastic team. I mean, the Wonder Kid, Hoyland, Up Pop, Rashford, Sancho, Anthony. So we will see. So I'm just going through, obviously, for start up of the game of what the club wants from us. I think it's all achievable, if I'm honest, and maybe more. I've played 10 games and there we go we are unbeaten some really really good results there so we beat Villa away uh what else jumps out we drew to man city at man city really really good results won our first champions league game 4-2 battered Shrewsbury. obviously i've played a reserve team and then down at the bottom there we beat brentford 4-2 it is so far going really, really well. Got a quick game to show you because obviously it's an important game. Carabao Cup, we're playing away to Arsenal and we lost. And this is how it happened. As you can see, if you see from stats, I think I show you stats up the end, but they was all over us. My team just did not show up and this is how it unfolded. So we've got the ball, Rashford gets through and chips a goalkeeper. We go ahead 1-0. But as, we, as you know, it's not going to last because I've already told you for the result. But here we go. This is how they came back. Really good goal, to be fair. Havertz, that typical FIFA goal, how you want to score. And then they again come down our right, their left, and then whipped in really quick into Nectar. And that's it. We are out of the Carabao Cup. I played quite a strong team. Played quite a strong team in this. And there's the stats. 21 shots to our four, 12 on target. And only one on target from us. Yeah, we was pretty crap, if I'm honest. We are now in 1st of November. And things are going pretty well. Apart from being knocked out for Carabao Cup by Arsenal. But Hoyland wins the player of the month for October. Played 8, scored 12. And then Hoyland again wins the young player of the month. And I win the manager of the month. I mean, it was very tight. I mean, Arteta and Guardiola basically got the same as you can see uh, nine games in the league and we are still unbeaten but we're only third we got three teams in the league after nine ten games still haven't lost we've all done the same and we're third look at that goal difference from man city 31 compared to our 15 harland already on 12 goals madison's doing well on eight and try and find one of our players player of the match marcus rashford but he's very inconsistent so getting really well in the league and we get our first loss in the champions league we're playing at home against barcelona fair enough we was actually the team that was on top but mr shaw gets a gets sent off gets a red card luke shaw already on a yellow card and he takes gavi from behind Looks like he like followed up with like a little kick up then maybe. I don't know, maybe it was just an animation glitch from my eyes. But he is off. And this is Barcelona's goal, 55th minute. Remelu, Felix, Christensen, powers forward, gets ball in. And again, it's one of them get behind my defence and then just into a box. Beef the goal. So for match stats on this game, we was doing really well. Most of our chances came prior to our sending off and then obviously we just fell apart we continue to do well in the league we are now second and gamacho get young player of the month he's going to be wicked I, I just have a feeling about him look at his stats he's already starting to perform well he's he's now kicking into drive for my team I, I don't think i really trusted to play him at the start but he's really starting to kick in and I get manager of the month again for the month of November. That's two manager of the months in a row. Obviously 100% uh, win ratio and Pochettino and Guadalajara with a 66%. Here's the league table. We are second, as I already said. We are still unbeaten. Liverpool's now lost the game. That's so just me and my Man City driving forward. So this is how we finished for end of the first half of the season. We lost to Arsenal. 3-0 away in the league. So that's our first league lost. Then we beat 
Newcastle away 4-0, beat Nottingham Forest 2-1, we lost to Lens 2-1 away, but I think I was resting team, no I wasn't, just didn't win, but we were already qualified for the uh, next round of the Champions League, lost to Liverpool 1-0, beat Luton Town as expected, Wolves we beat and then we drew away to Brentford. This is how on for 29th of December, the table's looking. We've now for drew two away Brentford Man City and two losses away Liverpool and Arsenal. I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. Look at look at the way we're doing. We've been in top four all season so far. If I get top four, I am happy with that. And obviously the aim is to try and beat what we got last season, which I believe was like 82 points. We've got Benfica in for the next round of the Champions League. And then we've got Chesterfield in for FA Cup. This is how the team has performed at the first half of the season. Ganacho playing a 7.36 and he's still got a little bit of form. Assisted 9 and scored 3. Across 12 starts for him. Really good. Mason Mount surprisingly surprised me really, really well. He is on 7.35. He has scored seven and assisted five. And then our Wonder Kid striker, Highland, he has scored 17 in 14 starts for us on 7.26. Fernandez, he's been very inconsistent for me. As you can see, he's full. You can see that wave. And then you got Unana. I don't know if I trust him. Uh, I mean, he's done all right. I mean, he's conceded 13 and started 12, right? I mean, that's pretty okay for a goalkeeper. Tom Heaton with skip, skip. He's only played one. But the surprise for me has been Donny van de Beek. Great squad player. Playing a 7.08. Not great, but he's quite consistent. Rashford doing well there. Eight goals. Playing a 7.07. Sancho for... I don't know. I was expecting better from Rashford and Sancho. Baran's now starting to pick up his game as well. Uh, was a bit of a slow start for him. Luke Shaw, a little bit disappointed. His form's gone rubbish. And then our worst performers, Victor Lindelof, started four, just rubbish. Harry Maguire, rubbish. Amabrat, I mean, they haven't really been given that much of a chance. Uh, you got Anthony, who's just, whenever he's played, he's just been rubbish. He's unhappy, obviously, the game time that we're giving him. It's to be expected, right? And then Hoyland, to finish off the video, Hoyland named as European Golden Boy winner. He's obviously only 20 years old. He scored 17 goals in 21 games for us and an average rating of 7.26. He's going to get better and better. Will he reach to the high peaks of Haaland? I don't know, but it could be interesting. It's going to be a Hoyland versus Haaland show at some point in the game. Have you had that so far? Have you had Hoyland score more than Haaland at some point? Maybe maybe five seasons down the road? Let me know in the comment section. I think so far the save is going well for this first season. Yes, we've got some issues. We've got some tweaking to do to try and give that final nudge to can we win for Champions League? Can we win for league? But the only way we're going to win the league, we need Man City to slip up. And for chances of that happening, hmm... We just need to keep on pressuring them and we will see. I know that we've still got to play them at the end of the season. That could be for title decider. So that's going to be worth sticking around for. And then we've got the FA Cup. Does it come to a stage that we're still in the FA Cup? The league's out of our reach. Champions League, we're knocked out. And the FA Cup's all we've got to play for. I want to win trophies. And I'm only doing one season because as soon as this is finished... I am then starting a new save. That's going to be our Unknown to Icon series. And that I'm in for the long haul. Last football manager, we played three seasons. My aim this time is to get to 10. I really want a club to show me that I'm an icon. If you like this video, you know what you need to do. Give this video a like. And if you'd like to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you on the next one.